So, hello everyone. My name is Jaime Llera. I'm an integrations engineer at CISDIC, and I'm also a maintainer of the open source project uh, Proncat.io. Uh, today, I'm here to talk about of the different challenges that we can find with labels when we try to combine different metrics. Um, I began to work at CISDIC five months ago, and then I entered in this world of monitoring, uh, where you can retrieve information from your application of your environments thanks to Prometheus metrics. I discovered that I could create uh, these dashboards and alerts uh, when <coughs> metrics give us that useful data to the users and he can use it uh, in a blink of an eye. So I thought, uh, how can I do that? How can I turn all that metrics into that in dashboards and alerts? And I began to wor work with uh, ProNQL. Uh, I was very excited, and uh, I decided to build this huge combination of, of metrics and in order to create <laughs> these dashboards. And maybe it was very naive because I thought that metrics were only a name and that was all, but obviously not. So uh, I realized that behind of that metrics uh, were the details that enrich metrics and give them all that powerful details and those dashboards um, with labels. Uh, I began to work uh, with labels and discovered that all combination uh, between my metrics so apply that and allocate those label labels uh, between my metrics. So for this talk, I prepare three different use cases, very basic, but very useful when you are beginning to work in this world with Prometheus metrics and, and its labels from scratch. So let's work with some math class with PrintQL 101. And for this first example, um, when I begin to work with, with metrics and these combinations, I thought that I can enter in my Prometheus and tap my both metrics and that will be enough. But that's not true because when I try to recover the information for a simple combination, I just was in, my, in front of my screen with nothing on it. So I just realized that I had to combine my metrics using those labels. I begin to see between this simple theoretical example and realize that I have some labels that match in between the metrics. And if I have a combination, this metric have to point and allocate those labels inside the syntax of my PrintQL. And that is enough for the first sample, the first use case when you're working with PrintQL. And for this one, this first example, uh, I use this maybe different case instead of a simple one with two metrics, because obviously we have our rates and so many other operators, but in the basics, you have two different blocks and one operation between them. So I only really have to have one time series. In this, in this case, this, this summary of the, this rate at the beginning and, and, and the other part and only allocates the, the labels that we want to, to share between them. And obviously, there is a tiny difference because in the first one, we have maybe in the first metric several labels that only a few of them can be in the other one, but maybe in other cases, we have the other example that the most of the labels inside our first metric are in the second one, but we have to allocate the labels that are in, but we have to maybe erase a tiny part of the labels in one of them. So using another case, in this case, instead of onward, 
we use the ignoring. We select the, those labels that are different from the other part and apply the same syntax. And in this case, it's, it's very simple. Similar to the other one, but for a, a different context. The next use case I was thinking about is maybe a very simple one, but when you use it, give us some other details in your metric. In this case, maybe you are looking for, for a certain detail in your metrics, but you can find it because maybe when that metric was created, they can put that information inside that one, but we can take advantage of other information that we can recover for the cluster. In this case, with KCM, we can pick up info style metrics. This kind of metrics uh, have a value of zero or one, depending on the metric, but we can take advantage of that, uh, if multiply or operate, in this case, with the metric, with the original one, and for example, if we are looking for some specific labor for our metric, um, we can, we have to, or we want to aggregate this new label to the other one, only operate with this one, uh, finding our label, in this case, I select in this theoretical example, this one, and apply it in this group left. So we only have to select that specific label apply a simple multiplication, in this case because the info style metric only takes the value of one. We don't modify the original value of our metric, but we give that metric uh, another detail and more information. So an example here. I decided to take this simple metric that have the CPU in this container. Uh, I couldn't find the world name of of the, of the metric, so I decided to use this other info style metric, this called pot info that came from KCM. And with this simple syntax, make a group left and take the information, making obviously the same use case and the first one is uh, matching the labels that combine between each other and adding the new label. And just with that, we enrich our original metric. And for this case, for example, the third one, uh, usually more of the supporters are creating but, but several people and they are not maybe communicating with each other and we have a standard for the metric but there is no standard for labels and maybe one people call one label in one way and other people call in another way. And, but the information inside that label is the same so maybe we are thinking we can uh, match those metrics because it has the same label in this case, but sometimes the difference could make us to uh, no success in this, in this operation. So we make that, we realize that we have some difference in the name of the label, and obviously we can match it in our operation. So we decide to make a simple level replace. Um, in this theoretical example, I select the level replace uh, before the operation, of course, because if I can match in those labels, we can return any information. It's very simple. You only have to uh, select the original label that we want to, to modify and the return. We select all with the request expression and put all that information inside of our new label. Obviously, this could help us with the simple example of uh, some exporter have different name for one label to the other, but obviously we can create new labels with this use case because we can um, stack several label replace one on top of the other and take information from one label to the next one and maybe we want to create some new label with the pod name, namespace, and container in the same label because reasons. And we have to take account this kind of use case. For this example, I take the other example in the second use case. Uh, for, 
but I select one because this one because uh, the label has the name created by name. Maybe for me it's not very logic because for me that is the workload. So I only have to apply this syntax for, for the sample and obviously you can see there the new label for the metric. So in order to summarize, um, labels give us the opportunity to, to filter our metrics, of course, because maybe we only want to uh, pick information for some type pot or some namespace. Um, obviously, we can, um, if without labels, we can match operations in this case. So as we said, as we saw in the first example, we had to match it. Obviously, we can enrich metrics with the information and the details in all their metrics that give us another exporters. And obviously, we can change and create new labels with this simple syntax. But we, have, we can combine, of, of course, all this information and these uh, PronQL and use cases. But obviously, when we begin with uh, PronQL, like is in my case, I think we have to make baby steps and begin from the basics of this matter, for example, and I think this is the most important part. For me, it was uh, very important to create this talk because I think there have to be more people in this world of monitoring. I think it's, it's very important to create a community and maybe some people um, are scared about the, some syntax or some technology and this kind of talk could help us to introduce those people to this community. Thank you. Any questions? Anyone at all? No? Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so. Okay.